now we are seeing in the recent years it is difficult to develop application for both ios and android with less time so uh, as we know that uh, application development is not uh, very easier to for both ios and uh, android because we need to code twice for this uh, two different kind of framework two different kind of systems but google has introduced a framework called flutter it is a reactive framework and it uh, it has a it provides a platform for building in high performance and beautiful mobile applications and so for android uh, it is uh, uh, very much difficult uh, to code in background but in front we are seeing very attractive applications very uh, beautifully designed and high performance that gaming is also uh, means that interaction is very very and very uh, attractive but in background this developers do too much hard work to develop that they have they have to sacrifice their time for to develop that so uh, to overcome this uh, only in this flutter has been introduced so what we are going to uh, know in this uh, presentation that how to install and the demonstration of the one of the simple demo of uh, flutter application and then comparison with other frameworks then why we have to use flutter what is the motivation what should be motivation behind these to while going towards uh, android development or ios development or application development then architecture then we will see some key features of flutter then we will see some advantages and disadvantages then applications which were which were developed in flutter framework so uh, in the general developing mobile application is complex and challenging task as we know that as we see in front it is very simple and easy but we don't know the uh, hard work of uh, the programmers and the developers behind the scene that is very challenging task actually it's not very simple as we are seeing as we are thinking there are many frameworks available to develop a mobile applications as android provides native framework based on java language and ios provides their native uh, framework based on script language so uh, one question might be rising in our minds that what is flutter now so flutter is nothing but it is an open source mobile application development software development kit so as we know what is open source because open source uh, operating systems we are already using like ubuntu kali linux and there are so many open source open source operating systems also so another uh, example we can take that wordpress also that is also open source software then uh, one of the popular uh, video player vlc that is very popular and very famous example of open source uh, softwares so this uh, flutter is utilized for both native and cross platform application development so what is native native means either we can say in very uh, simple words that either it's android or uh, it's purely ios only we can do for this also or we can develop an app in a single code it's it can run on both the operating system that can be done so code one time for both ios and android applications that uh, is the one of the important aspect of this flutter so how to install flutter so for that you have to go to the plow browser whatever it may be and flutter install then here is a flutter.dev which is official website go to and after going here you have to select your operating system which was your windows or mac os or linux here our is linux so we are uh, going to linux and here you can download and uh, install it through this uh, following uh, subsequent commands that is given here and otherwise you can go i will uh, prefer this git clone uh, http means this is git uh, command that you can copy and paste it in your terminal and follow the further procedures then uh, subsequently put these commands that flutter doctor will to check uh, whether flutter is installed successfully or not and uh, you have to take care of your path also where you are installing this flutter for uh, android setup it is uh, very much important so after this after successful installation of flutter in your device you have to go to configure and plugins here you have to search uh, flutter flutter as a plugin so i have already installed so here is not coming install option so you have to install it along with this flutter only that will be downloaded and you have to press on ok so after this uh, what you have to do that uh, you might be thinking that how to start with this flutter application now so for this you have to uh, open your android studio but before that after installing flutter you have to restart it after installing this flutter only the here option comes that start a flutter application then you have to start flutter application here 
there are so many options but that's not important we are developing an application so we are clicking on that and here you have to put your application name what was that then uh, that application name should be a unique one that uh, similar kind of uh, name should be not given here and here we have to give the path of your uh, flutter installation uh, directory so i have installed it on direct development uh, folder in that there is a flutter i have to click on this so here you can see that here some uh, error is coming that invalid project name so project name might be there have been already same uh, name project may be there in my computer because i was trying so many things so again i would like to check whether i have given right path or not so what is the error so it must be valid dot package name oh this name is wrong so we will change it to app demo uh, okay now it's no error then click on next then here is an include kotlin support is for an android code and as we know that swift support is for ios code so this uh, two should be uh, click if you want to develop the application for cross platform for both the platforms then click on finish after that it will take a time while you are starting with flutter now only means for first time it will take time after that you will see here here they have given a predefined code that includes a simple application code that we will, i will show you demo what this they have provided the code so this material dot that is an uh, android specific code or android specific widget there are uh, some code and comments are given as like uh, we are giving in c c++ by using double slash uh, only uh, single line comments are allow in this and uh, as we are seeing this on press it is a gesture uh, to increment and counter i will show you in the application so what is that now we will see what kind of libraries have given to develop an android and ios applications so we are easily seen here android and ios both the different are given and in android uh, they have given this and ios there are also uh, this uh, libraries are there so uh, we can easily see this is cross platform uh, uh, framework now which file we have to deal with we have to deal with this only main dot dot which is included in this library so uh, for that uh, you have to uh, go to here and for installation you have to uh, go to here uh, devices if you have connected any uh, debugging mode uh, your android device then otherwise uh, you can um, directly go through this uh, android emulator but my system is uh, ram is not uh, very much sufficient so i was using uh, my uh, android device as an emulator only so for that what you have to do to uh, make it uh, in debug mode you have to go in your settings android device settings and uh, about phone there is a build number uh, it, it may vary uh, with the different kind of operating systems but uh, in my there is a such kind of thing then on that uh, debug number no sorry on that build number i have to click seven times until uh, six, uh, six uh, touch there will be no effect but after seven touch uh, they will pop a message that uh, now you are a developer after that you have to connect your android device with the laptop or your uh, computer then it will be shown here then you have to start debugging so after debugging how it seems means how this uh, predefined code uh, sees, uh, seems to be uh, run how it runs that will be we will see so as i see c++ there is a wide main method there is a main method so in that run app is a method which is a uh, predefined so in this we are uh, different kinds of widget we will see in later uh, okay so its demonstration is like this here is a first dot first application i have developed means debug only not developed so it will take time because its ram is not uh, okay we, we will we are seeing this uh, framework this is uh, our home page of our application and after clicking on this plus button that is getting increment means this is a gesture this is a uh, stateful widget we can see stateful widget because after clicking on this this counter is incremented so we will see what is stateful widget and stateless widgets so this kind of application they have provided this kind of demo application code they have provided by default only so now we will go further uh, now comparison between different kind of frameworks so there are so many uh, frameworks are given here so here is react native xamarin in ionic and flutter so we will uh, simply go through flutter only you can see programming language they have provided some some but in flutter uh, they, there is a dart for performance we can see the close to native moderator but flutter has amazing performance now graphical user interface it's uses uh, native uh, user interface and so uh, it's like that but 
predatory than widget uh, with uh, uh, framework and market and community um, other frameworks have very means uh, big community not uh, too much small as like uh, flutter flutter has the uh, newest uh, technology due to that it has a very uh, small community only uh, use cases this react native only can build all uh, all kinds of apps and this flutter was also but uh, this xamarin uh, um, and inicar uh, only supports for simple applications only simple application development and code reusability we can see here uh, it's 90% uh, code reusability here 96% here 98% here 50 to 90% actually it's not 50 to 90% uh, it, it is a uh, 96% code can be reusable we will see in features uh, how it's and these popular applications of uh, react native and uh, different kind of uh, frameworks is given here here is the facebook here is oyo just watch and here is hamilton also in flutter they have developed alibaba dream 11 and so many other applications too so uh, as a part of rising uh, we can see uh, for any uh, initial uh, startup we have to firstly go to our budget so your budget is uh, fine to pay or uh, then and then only we can uh, go through it so react native is open source there is no pricing and so predatory is also like but for these two xamarin and ionic uh, some of the features are not available until and unless you did not pay something to them so uh, now uh, you will be thinking that uh, what should be motivation behind this that why we should only uh, choose flutter and why not other as we have already discussed in comparison that uh, flutter is how better its performance is better its uh, code reusability is also better it's open source so uh, it is developed by google and uh, we will see in detail how to choose our frameworks it's uh, developed by google and it's uh, cross platform for uh, ios android and ios and now we will see in the modern day today age what do you require in the mobile application development that we need better performance also smoother animation should be there beautiful design should be there user interaction should be there it should not consume too much ram there are so many other requirements are there but what flutter is satisfies or not that we will see through this architecture so it has been uh, layered in three layers so first layer is pre pre dar then engine c or c++ c++ uh, then platform so themes they have provided themes uh, for our convenient use and then cooper you know it is uh, it is a uh, as we see here apple sign means it is a uh, uh, ios specific widgets are uh, included in this cooper you know then material is android specific widgets are included in this widgets these widgets are another that there are uh, stateful and stateless widgets so what is stateful widgets in stateful means uh, after clicking on that plus button in our application demo we are seeing that counter is incremented and it is seen and it is uh, seen effect on our screen so as like that that is a stateful widgets means that that are dynamic on clicking there some changes occurs but in stateless widgets there is no change occurs whether you click on any uh, widget or not that is a st stateless only that is static like that this rendering is a kind of thing that it is a process to approach our which uh, it's approach to uh, develop an application so animation what is animation animation is nothing but a process of showing series of images like uh, we are seeing cartoons they, what there is nothing but it, it is a series of uh, images that is being uh, shown as like animations are also possible this so printing is also possible then gesture is also possible what is gesture gesture is nothing but uh, it is some uh, kind of thing that uh, way for user to, to interact with a mobile then like a, a tap or double tap or scroll down scroll up or left swipe right swipe like this the kind of gestures are provided by default you, you can directly use that functions and you can easily uh, go through these gestures only this foundation means it is a support provided for this uh, whole framework it it, sh it should be included in our uh, coding style uh, so engine <laughs> what is flutter engine so flutter engine is, uh, is written in uh, cc++ so it provides a low level rendering support using a google skya graphics library this is what skya is a google graphics library which provides uh, uh, support for rendering a low level graphics so for this uh, this engine is required and uh, it, it is portable and uh, it uh, it helps us to run time the during the run time to host any flutter application it can be uh, means during run time also we can refresh our applications or we can hot reload that is a, a specific word for this that we can do they they have provided uh, different kind of platforms uh, platform shells ios shell and virtual embedded api so what is this platform we, uh, this platform is uh, 
means flutter provides a shell that hosts dart virtual mode means for uh, virtual mode means uh, virtual uh, mode or we can say virtual machine that kind of thing is uh, here in this platform so this is all about architecture so as we see that dart is a programming language the scope is known as ios specific library but really the android specific library widgets are also there the stateless and stateful widgets engine includes kaya dart and test dart is programming language during runtime it helps enhances the programming uh, enhances the output uh, of our uh, code by using the hot reload option so this is that we will see now key features of flutter so uh, it is open source platform as we have already discussed custom design fast development cycle is of code sharing object operation super productive amazing widgets are there release time for quality assurance enhanced performance with dart community support so we will see now one by one open source platform what is open source platform means it is available to use for anybody to study or for the startups it's like uh, open source like ubuntu wordpress plc it's open source so custom design and navigation the modern api with customization features in flutter is comes true due to its rendering using a skya they have provided the very best navigation through their rendering using skya you can easily navigate through your applications so faster development life cycle is uh, here it is a very important feature to understand that uh, the compilation time in flutter is only 25 seconds only so and they have provided hot reload option it allows incremental compilation means what is hot reload as like it is similar to when refreshing the web page on the web browser and that is similar kind of thing means uh, in the one side simultaneously you are coding also and after once you have uh, run your applications in debug mode on your emulator then uh, if you change any uh, thing in your code and after that if you refresh on that application that will be directly refreshed as like we refresh the page similar kind of thing only so faster development uh, life cycle so ease of code sharing as uh, i have said that it has about almost 95 percent of code can be used again and again so it is one of the uh, efficient to use code and object operations so what is object operations mean is it is nothing but a letter set out to solve a critical creating a visual user experience rather than using a non object oriented language means they have provided object operation is like a uh, very uh, nice attractive application there as you are able to see here that uh, colorful uh, change is occurring here as like python c++ they have provided very uh, nice and all it is object oriented programming language due to that uh, it is uh, there and then it is super productive why it's super productive due to its hot uh, loading uh, feature it uh, comes to be it seems to be super productive then amazing widgets as a part of uh, flutter that they have uh, provided a wide range of widgets uh, for us uh, to build our applications uh, very user friendly then reduce time for quality assurance what is this that uh, means uh, if you test on your uh, if you test your application on android only it is valid for ios 2 this kind of thing is there means you don't want to test again and again for both your ios and android then enhances performance in dart so dart has been has eliminated the javascript breach due to that it's it has in a enhanced enhanced the performance of application development so community support uh, but uh, now currently the community is not uh, big as compared to react or ionic or xamarin uh, uh, frameworks but in future it's washed it may be rise so advantages of flutter uh, as we have seen in the features only that it has a faster code writing less testing you don't need to test again and again if you only test on only one machine that is sufficient for another machine you don't need to test again and again then one call for two platforms design the user slow it is very easy and very uh, efficient uh, by using the widgets then faster mobile application development is possible through this flutter then some of the disadvantages also as every coin has two sides as like that there is a disadvantage also due to a small community its initial costing is high it's risky also you need to learn new language that is a dart if you have courage then you can learn very easily it's not too difficult also they have the this is a small community due to this uh, community due to that it has a limited library support only then web browser do not support flutter but in future it might be so do you know that app developing flutter we have discussed already that alibaba and hamilton but google ads dream 1 which was very famous 
to those who are playing uh, cricket who are lover of cricket IPL now IPL is not there <laughs> so Dream 11 might be not in use too much but that is also built in uh, this only in eBay COVID-19 reflectively this uh, uh, in this uh, COVID epidemic uh, now we can see this very uh, thoroughly that COVID-19 this application is developed by using this flutter uh, framework why because it has a um, means it has a rapid development of applications is possible due to this only so uh, we can see our time is very uh, limited so we can use this time for our uh, building our skills we can go interior to develop our skills to make us uh, uh, capable for that job we make a so we can see so as per your choice you can uh, choose your uh, uh, framework uh, if you are going to uh, mobile application development field so and that was my uh, one of the humble uh, uh, try uh, to aware you about this flutter so in conclusion this is a uh, statement from a uh, google development community uh, who are uh, developing flutter so flutter is a software development kit from the house of google that helps in the development of speedy and attractive mobile applications for ios and android so as we are saying that in the initially uh, first two slides we have seen that uh, a mobile application development is not it's complex and it's not very challenging task so by using this flutter framework it is uh, been declared here that it's by using flutter we can develop apps very speedily very fastly and attractive mobile applications are possible by this flutter so here are some references where, where i have got this information uh, for all of us so thank you uh, so anybody have any uh, questions they might ask me or if no that's also very nice thank you <laughs>